people deluded i'm back again now if you've been watching the under 17 euros it's been a nightmare trying to watch it for those of you that are normally it's fairly covered in terms of it's on bbc eurosport and things like that as well as the streaming stuff on youtube now but it's been a nightmare man and i mean especially with england obviously if you don't much care for youth you'd love to see how the future of england is doing at this level it's been a nightmare if you've been trying to watch that some games are on some games are off and it's a nightmare like i said people man but moving on you lot know a hobby of mine is to look at young players majority of these these players i do think there's a lot of promise in the under 17 europeans championship collectively all the countries for instance i would have loved to have seen more of czech republic and hungary i think there's some under the radar talents there portugal as well yet again but um yeah the, the harsh reality is the majority of people aren't going to make it here there's going to be some stars of the of tomorrow but there's going to be a lot that i'm going to speak about and you lot seen as well that isn't going to just make it there nonetheless we might as well speak about some spanish and german talent that i came across man to be fair with you we'll start with spain now in regards to spain they've got a lot of players people man like, like i said they've got a lot of players with potential and i mean it's, it's spanish spanish players you 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 what do you expect with spanish players technical ability forward thinking this, seeing a picture 20 minutes before it's happened and things like that and there's some wonderful players in that side man the pick of it we'll get onto him but i like really like that striker moreno and i think navarro um i think is he at barcelona or did he move somewhere i don't even know but the midfielder navarro roberto navarro there's a lot of talented boys in that side, man, to be fair with you. Um, you've got Pino as well, who I've spoken about before. Don't actually think I have him in my notes. But out of the people I actually remember to write down, silly me. Um, Carrelio, I can never say his name. Avaro Carrero, Calarero, can never say his name, but he plays for Real Madrid. He's a centre-half. He impressed me because he was fairly composed on the ball and very calm in situations, man. And it was very much the modern-day Spanish centre-half in that he wants to play and he's not kind of phased in situations. I like the striker Jordi Escobar as well, Valencia. Fairly good taker of chances. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but he scored a good goal against Hungary. And from the research I've been seeing, he's been making headwinds in regards to playing Valencia B and probably pushing on to first team. Obviously, I'm not here to say people can be next, this, that and the third. I think Moreno's have got a lot of potential. But Jordi Escobar seems to be making headwinds. So, he, yeah, man, he looked like a decent striker, good with his back to play, be able to bring people in. You'll notice I, I'll repeat the same things, people, because football is not rocket science. You're just looking for checkpoints. And he was decent, man. Um, could show a bit more potential. Again, I'm not here to say man of stars, but he was decent. Xavi Lopez, I think he plays for Alvarez. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but a fullback, modern day fullback. I felt he supported down the flank well. I think he was fairly composed. Decent final ball. Snaps at heels as well. Very tigerish and, and, and stuff in, in how he tries to win the ball back. So Xavi Lopez is one. Obviously, Moreno, I've spoken about him twice, but we're on to him on my notes. Really like him, man. I think he's joined Juventus from whoever. Really like him. Drops deep, gets involved in play and them sort of things there. Good with his back to goal as well. Links up well. Very, He's a very exciting striker, man. His movement is good. Good taker of chances. Again, he's young, but he's he's got a good understanding of football. Very high football in IQ. Hangs on the last shoulder of defenders as well. Philly works the defensive line as a striker well as, as well. So I think he's decent and he's someone to look out for. Um, Rico Pino, I, I believe his na another name is he's a centre midfielder, looked fairly composed throughout the tournament and I think he's a Barcelona player so do I need to expand on that anymore? I felt Torrientes, Bernat Torrientes was very good technically as well, Navarro like I said was the pick of it for me, as was collectively all of Spain, Holland, um, Germany, there's all of them even the ones i don't name it'll be a player i haven't spoken about that's the one that goes on that's the beauty of football i'm not here to talk about the stars and all these things but um they've got a lot of ballers man but navarro i've told you a lot hey, navarro's close control is ridiculous some of the nutmegs some of the situations i was seeing him play his way out of both passing it and using his technical ability man very cultured man again potential just potential but he's probably if i was in charge of a city a psg even arsenal and it was he was attainable he's someone i'll be looking at bringing in man in the next few years he could be a talent as could i i Gilardo, i believe he plays for roda i believe um keeps the ball ticking in midfield and i think he can play a couple of positions good passing the ball good pass of the ball short and long range passing 
Shoulders a willingness to do the dirty work in midfield as well. As you'd expect, man, he's good with a ball at his feet. He can play in tight spaces. As you'd expect of anyone that's playing in the Spanish national team, you wouldn't be there if you couldn't. Moving on to Germany, people. Um, someone I'd actually love to bring into Arsenal is Dardai. I feel he's fairly composed, very mature. I feel when he's on the ball, there's a certain... I want to say elegance, but you know when someone strikes you as strikes you people, as someone that's very composed and he does the right things, very strong lad as well, wins the ball back, very decent man. I feel he can play. Um, I've seen him play centre half and in midfield in this tournament, or drifting in between, man. Either way, he looks like someone, man. Would like to bring him in and develop him. Um, Karim Adiemi, if you've been looking at him, he's probably along with Doku and a couple others, and Adil Ashushe. I can never say these names. Of France, but Karim's a baller, people, man. He's playing for Germany, played up front as well as the flanks. His movement's good, his trickery's good, he's decent. When I was doing my research into him, he looks like a good prospect. I've seen he's gone on loan. He's actually owned by Leipzig. Um, the Guzman will have a, a field day working with him, but he's owned by Leipzig. Um, he's been on loan as well um, this season, um, this current season or season that's coming to an end. So is he someone that they're looking to fast track? He was a baller throughout the tournament. You had Karim um, Chalanoglu. I can never say his name, but the lad that the cousin of the lad that played for Hamburg in AC Milan fullback as well similar with the other fullback i named likes to get forward well good engine good final ball decent take or good first touch and all these sort of things then obviously you had the, you had the jordan Maya again similar to dada in that he was very mature and composed in midfield he had malik uh, malik tillman as well um i've seen him play for Bayern munich forgive me if i'm wrong german um midfielder cute little touches the whole german side was good people and to be fair German and Italy, German and uh, Germany and England, sorry, were sides people were talking about as to doing this thing and getting into the final. So possibly both sets of players and coaching staff could feel disappointed. Car Holland retained the thing, and obviously Italy. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but is this Italy's second final? I could be wrong on that. But in regards to the German people, <coughs> oh, people forgive me, man. Oh, hey, he was doing a madness with me. But in regards to Germany and Spanish talents. They're who caught my attention, people, man. So, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of these vids, to be fair with you. So, let me smash them out. On that note, people, DG, I'm out.